Hi everyone, welcome to Go Hobby. This here is the Neon Dotty Back, also known as the Arabian Dotty Back. This guy here is a juvenile that's only about 3 centimeters. When fully grown, they will reach 7 to 8 centimeters or 3.5 inches. As the fish matures, it will retain its vivid colors. The Neon Dotty comes from the waters of the Persian Gulf and the Western Indian Ocean. The Neon Dotty is a carnivore with a voracious appetite. They will eat a variety of meaty frozen foods as well as flakes. They may also dine on those pesty bristle worms. Neon Dotties are often labeled as aggressive fish, but in my experience, I found them to be only mildly aggressive. I think this may be because most of the Neon Dotties that make it into the fish stores today are captive bred as opposed to being caught in the wild. Based on what I've heard, it seems like the wild ones are more aggressive when brought into aquariums. The Neon Dottie prefers to swim near the bottom of the tank. It will identify a rock or a cluster of rocks as its home base and will not venture too far from this base unless tempted by food. But as your Neon Dottie matures, it will become more bold and will swim more throughout the tank. It's interesting to watch the Neon Dottie swim in and out of the holes in the rocks Sometimes it will poke just its head out from the hole like a little periscope and survey its surroundings. Neon Dotties are hermaphroditic, so if you're hoping to breed them, you just need to put two of them together, and whichever one is larger and more dominant will become the male. And if your pairing works out, the male will try to draw the attention of the female by dancing in front of his cave, usually a small hole within a rock. And if impressed, the female will lay her eggs in the male's cave, where the male will then look after them. At least that's how it works in the wild. In the aquarium, I read reports about the male abandoning the eggs, or worse, eating them. If the eggs incubate well, they will hatch in a few days. Now, of course, getting Neon Dotties to breed is a bit more challenging than I made it sound here. You may run into issues with the male being ruthlessly aggressive towards the female, causing fin and scale damage. And, if the eggs do hatch, he will likely need a second tank and specialized feeding systems to keep the larvae alive. I've not bred Neon Dotties myself, so what I'm reporting here comes from what I've read from other people's first-hand accounts. Well, that about wraps things up on the Neon Dottie. Here's some extra video footage of my Neon Dottie. Hope you enjoy him. Please remember to subscribe. It costs nothing and really helps small-time hobbyists like me out. I'll see you again here on Go Hobby.